I think that was a good chance for us to kind of take a break in the momentum there. Don't let D's get too carried away. And we're winning it right that back. Looks like it's going to dribble over for a boundary ball up, which I'm getting used to. Hey. <laughs> so. <laughs> I've just been told that the microphones have only just been turned, turned on. on. You've missed 10 minutes of scintillating commentary, Chloe. <laughs> oh, honestly, it was like Gary Lineker was here himself, but you, we've all missed out. But do you know what hasn't been uh, lacking is the quality of the footy oh. game that we've been watching. So commentary or otherwise, this is a game and a half. Still um, no goals scored. There is one behind for the visitors. Uh, the home team are making a great attack into their forward 50. The high ball came down and no one managed to take clean possession of that. The umpire's going to ball it up in a pretty dangerous spot mm. for the Giants who were looking to score their first goal for the day. Absolutely. That was a great way into the forward line there. Slice through a bunch of demons like Moses through the Red Sea. <laughs> Did you see Heine just there? The, the physicality with which she plays is absolutely unparalleled. Oh. She just demolished one of those demons players. Completely fair, reasonable within the rules, but... That Demons girl is going to feel that bump tomorrow, I tell you what. And there's a grab inside the forward 50. Yes, is that Steve? Steve, that is Steve. That's Steve. Steve, the leading goal kicker for the last season, shared with three other players, but she doesn't like to tell you that. <laughs> She's vice captain today as well, really leading from leadership side. She gets up and under. It's a nice high footy, plenty of opportunity for the Giants to come away with the ball. Meg's uh, on it. Number 14, who's that? She jumps on it. That's Meg. Meg dives on the footy. There was a um, pretty contentious dive on the footy in the AFL last night. Heine's for those in for rocking. Who, who were watching, he but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that lovely tap from the Giants still inside their forward 50. Yes, Brooksy plays on from a lovely mark and uh, gets really unlucky there to have the yeah. ball uh, intercepted by a Demons player, Chloe. We've had so many opportunities there, but the Demons are all over us. But they're really struggling to get past that ball that we're setting up in the mid. So, again, the Giants just need to work really hard. Don't let them capture this momentum along the wing again. Well said, Chloe. I think uh, we mentioned before when the mics weren't turned on how good this Demons outfit is. Mm. And at the moment, it's a 50-50 contest. The, the Giants have brought a level of physicality, a level of determination to this footy game. Oh, and they um, weren't ready for it. They weren't ready for it. No, you're <laughs> right. The Demons aren't going to get any cheap ones today. They're mm. going to have to earn everything they get. And they're, they've worked that out, I think, by this point. As they come away with the tap, they've got the clearance, bang it down the Siegs bar wing. Um, we call it the Siegs bar wing because we've got a brand new marquee this year. <laughs> you can probably see it just in the edge, right in the far end of the vision there, that beautiful black marquee with the Giants logos all around it. It's got Sieg's name either side. I think he was the generous benefactor behind mm. it. And now he is not only immortalized in the bar, but in the name of the wing itself. Mm. You know, a day on the rye isn't without the bar, so. No, no, if anything, the bar is the most important player. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I think that is our captain today. Because <laughs> <laughs> as, as much as it matters who wins this footy game, I'm more interested in who wins the boat race, I'll be honest. A hundred percent. And also who's got the, in the sweepstake as well, important day. Great Absolutely. spoil by Ginge there in the, the D's Ginge forwards. did so well to halve that contest. It was a two on one and she has come away with the footy herself. Wow. She epitomizes that giant's grit and determination. It's absolutely inspiring to see as Boomer takes the loose footy. And we've called that quarter time, uh, apparently. Is it? Yep. Uh. Well, looks like somebody else's timekeeping. Oh, you paused for injury, didn't you? Yeah, there you go. So somebody else's timekeeping. So that job has been taken off us. <laughs> clearly, we can't be trusted. Do you want to bang the siren anyway, just for just for good measure? Just for the fun. There it is. You might want to turn the volume up on that one next time, but that was a good first mm. effort. Um, and we'll join you for the second quarter for this Giants versus Demons clash. Absolutely. I hope I'm not getting told off. I wasn't on the timekeeper. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> I got told off. I can't believe you got missed commentary for the first <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> At least sister just goes, didn't realise you were delivering the commentary. <laughs> I like mean, missed the first 10 minutes. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm watching the time live and there was no sound. <laughs> we were literally yapping away for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Is that JD's bad? <laughs> <laughs> We're back here at the Rye for the second quarter. Um, I'm now joined by Massey. Massey, say good day. Hi, good day. Uh, Massey here. Oh, where? where did I put it? Just clip it to you. All oh, right, thing, okay. Um, yeah, glad to not be playing, but here doing the commentary today. Tell us why you're not playing, Mass. Um, I'm not playing because last weekend I got smashed in the face and what? had to get stitches. How'd you get smashed in the face, Mass? Playing rugby. Yeah. Yeah. Describe it to us. What happened? Teammate butted my head. Yeah, yeah, all right. So a bit of friendly fire. Yeah. Says, pushed you out for the game. It was a bit of friendly fire. But you know what? The Giants are they're doing great today. Um, number 14, that's her debut with the with the bow tie. Is she's having a stormer. Yep, yeah, Meg. Yep, um, yep she's, doing, she's doing great. I told her she's scoring two goals this quarter. Number 11, it's also debut. Uh, first time playing AFL. All right, we've had a bit of a delayed start to the second quarter, but the ball is now yes. up. Yes, uh, Hibble's done a good tap. She's won the tap. Got Heiner's got the ball. Oh, and she puts it forward. She's been tripped there. That'd be a free kick any other day. Uh, unfortunately, the umpire missed it. The the ball has entered the Giants' forward fifty though. Saskia's got the ball into oh into the fifty. Yes, Meg. Meg gets a mark, and Meg, and Meg goes for goal. Oh, we got behind. We'll take that. 1-1. One, one. skimmed across the face there. It looks all right off the boot. Maz is getting involved Egg. early in this quarter, which is really good yeah, for the Yeah, great, great start to the second quarter. Now we've got to attack this um, this kick out. Ooh. 
Bit of a mongrel off the boot. Oh, Heiner's nearly got it, and she's got the ball. Oh, and it's on the floor. Oh, and the ball's out. Demons have possession at the moment. Good pressure by Saskia. And Saskia's got the ball again. Uh, it's also Saskia's debut um, for the Giants. Um, she's come over from Sussex Swans since moving to London, having a stormer on the pitch. And it is a ball up. Hibble has been smashing those rocks so far. And Brooksy's. Oh, and we've got possession back. Kate managed to do a bit of a turn, gets a kick away. Oh, and luckily straight to Demon. Uh, the Demons have entered their forward Demons 50. are in the 50. Dana's. Still in the 50. Oh, and we've got a, a bit of a rule kick. Right, the ball's been held up there. The umpire's going to take that. Uh, the Giants are well set up in their defensive <laughs> 50. The rucks are nominating. Ball goes up. Demons come away with the tap, but the Giants come away with the footy and try to rebound off that half back line. Only gets as far as the half forward for the Demons, who send it straight back into the 50. Quark's there competing well. Susie comes away with the loose ball. Go Heiner. Uh, Heiner's tacking the ball. Ball's on the floor. We've got a bit of a scrap going on. Giants don't lose a scrap though. Right, we're on to a ball up. Good defence. Good defence by the Giants. Kate's in for the ruck. Wins the tap. Lovely. Straight to Brooksy. Brooksy's got some free space. It's Steve. Oh, unlucky. Straight to a demon. Big kick by the Demons into the 50. No mark though. Oh, and Kate does a brilliant tackle. Oh, should it have been a free kick? Nah, no prior there. Okay. I think that was the right call by the umpire. Right non-call. Um, Brooksy has just flattened somebody and I think she's been pinged for it. She absolutely has. The Giants are out there playing with aggression today. Um, unfortunately, they've just, just slightly towed over the line there. So the Demons are going to enter their forward 50 off a free kick. Uh, and the ball's oh. gobbled up by Kate. It's an absolute ripper She's intersect mark. She looks down the wing, nothing doing. Looks, checks the other wing, looks at the centre. Who wants that footy? She's holding it up. She's begging somebody to make a lead. Ends up kicking to a contest. It's a 50-50 footy. The Demons come away with it, but not for very long. Giants now towards the boundary. Everyone's squabbling over the ball. The Demons have come away with the loose footy. They're trying to attack, but there's some congestion. They're struggling to work their way through it. The Demons now going backwards to try to go forward, and they've been pinged for holding the ball, Matthew. Yep, so um, back into some Giants possession. Good defence there. Um, we had Kate, um, who did a lovely clear out. This is also her debut, um, having a stormer. Has got a lot of AFL experience. She's played in Sydney before for the, for the Bats, I think, if I'm correct. Um, we've got another contest. I think it's going to be a ball up. Hibble win for this one. It's also Hibble's first game for the Giants. Another experienced player. Um, just got selected for GB. GB's number one rock. And we've got an Giants are entering our 50 zone. Doesn't look like there's... Ball's just gone out. Unlucky. Uh, some Demons possession now. Got the kick away, but is it going to go straight to a giant? And the ball is out. It's going to be a ball up from the sidelines. That was another quality clearance, actually. Basically in the same spot where the footy is now. There's another quality clearance from Saskia. She's having a ripper game today. Um, the, the midfield battle is fiercely, fiercely contested, but we keep winning these taps and getting the clearances, and that's going to go a long way to winning this footy match. It's a very congested wing right now there's some wrestling going on over that ball i can't quite see who that was from the demons but it was a uh, it was a well fought squabble shall we say <laughs> and uh we're gonna get another ball up frame for the ball up uh, i think it's gone straight out so we'll have another ball up freya's get working hard today 
Got the fitness though, she'll be f absolutely fine. She'll be powering on through. And got a bit of congestion. Demons now have the ball. Big tackle, tackle by Heiner, I think. A, that was absolute was monstrous work from Heiner. She's she's still on the on the ground though after that. Yeah, that's Heiner. Um, she doesn't look thrilled to be down there. She's she's sat up now but she's not in any sort of rush to get back up to her feet. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a little bit of an update about what's gone wrong there. It's sort of on the wrong side for us to get a clear vision. Did anybody get a better look than I did? No, Don't think sure. I did. think it was just a good tackle and then brought to ground. But she's back she's on up. Her feet. She's on her feet. She's moving all right. She's going she straight to the line, but she's, she's jogging off. So that's fantastic to see. She'll be back on. She's a tough cookie. Suze delivers the ball inside Giants forward Ooh. 50, but the Demons are making a rebound. A uh, bit of a mongrel kick into the centre. The Demons oh, come away oh, with it. Keep pushing it forward. Here's Quark. Yes, Quark. Only gets as far as Quark, who gathers the loose ball, puts it on the hands, takes her own crumbs, kicks it off the deck. Here's Ginge again. Quark and Ginge are doing excellent work stopping the, do the Demons from making any sort of meaningful entry into their forward 50 and the umpire takes it for a ball up. We've seen plenty of stoppages today, Matthew. Yeah, lots of stoppages. It's been quite a scrappy game, um, but the Giants love a scrap. Absolutely. I would say it plays to our strength. Yeah. Um, we're a vicious team. Love the tackle, love the, the chaos. Um, and we've got another ball up, it looks yeah, like. Meg has been um, putting in great defensive work, even as a forward, um, and having a stormer of a debut. Or a ripper, as they say in the Aussie land. Now, um, Demon's ball. Number 95. Um, play rugby with her. And she was there when Massey got slammed in the face and had to get her stitches. Was it but, her yeah. who did it? It wasn't her. It wasn't, no, her. Right. Well, it wasn't a demon. Fair enough. Uh, the ball is in the centre. Steve gathers, tries to handball, can't quite get it away. A Demon's player delivers it straight to number 11. Who's that for us? It's uh, Jess. Demons were going, thought it was a drop ball there, but um, ref says she got the ball away. And it is uh, another ball up. Gemma going for this ball up. Freya's uh, coming off the pitch. She's um, only playing a half today, so it's now going to be a uh, Gemma in the ruck. Why is she only playing a half? Um, she's got her granny's 90th birthday. Oh, happy birthday to Freya's grand. That's that's a solid. I know, 90. I she, has a, oh, she has a ripper of a day. Susie on the boot, down the Seags bar wing, uh, to a Demons player who can't quite gather cleanly. They're held up here on the wing. They looked like they had an opportunity to really use that ball well, but they didn't. And the Giants are going to capitalise on that with another stoppage. Giants have been really good at um, defence today. As I said, we love the scrap, that ball up. We are on it straight away. And Gemma in the rock is won the ball. Oh, another ball. That's a free kick to the Demons. Free kick to Demons. Unlucky. Unlucky. The things. I didn't see the contact. It's a long way away. My eyes don't work as well as they did in my youth. Um, but I did see Boomer make the sign. The Demons get up and under onto their forward flank to a contest. And the ball dribbles back over that boundary line by the looks. Looks like it is another ball up. Gemma stepping up. She's come from a netball background. Again, her first game of AFL. Born in 2004. So she's a, a, young, a young chicken coming to the game of AFL. She's got many years to um, develop and she's already a, a young talent. So go Gemma. Thanks for that, Mass. That's no worries. Outstanding insight. Well, we were going through the team sheet, and okay. Sue said there was a 2004 on the team sheet, and we were like, why? Sure. Oh, yeah, we do have dates of birth here. Nice. The big, um, now that you've drawn my attention to that, there's a very big range of ages out yeah. there. Yeah. It just goes to remind you that footy is for everybody, young and old. Footy is for everyone. Yeah. If Ginger's still out there, then anybody can do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's for everyone. Yeah, we got um, we got young Gemma, and then we've got some people breaching forty. We've so got, yeah, we've got some real experience out there. But to 
uh, to the Giants' credit, it's a real even. Um, it's a real even contribution from the players, young and old. The the defense are holding up really well here, as they're stopping the demons from. Yes, Sue's and Sue's calls for a of, massive tackle. Any sort of quality possession inside their forward fifty, they're really struggling to get past that arc, uh, and so we're locked in a bit of an arm wrestle here. The ball's not really moving too far into either arc. It's just bobbling about in the middle and there are girls all over the place throwing themselves at it. Oh, how I would love to be involved in that. Um, the chaos is a bit me, but we'll have to wait till another day to be back on that pitch. But the girls are holding through. They're bringing the chaos. Um, and we've got demons have got the ball, gone for a kick, not a kind of bobbled, hit another player, another bit of chaos coming on. And someone's coming for a big tackle. I think it's a giant. And demons have the ball away. Are they going? Oh, I'm lucky. Brooksy. Brooksy Marked was a by the demons. There, but she looks alright. Demons again kicking as far as their half forward flank can't get any further than that. The Giants' defence is holding up extremely well. We just need to work out a way to uh, take these possessions on the half back line and convert them into meaningful forays into our forward fifty and trying to get some scores on the board. The scores as it stands right now. Zero goals, one to the home team and the same to the visitors. This is a massive effort by the Giants. If I can record um, stats from the last game, we went last time we played the Giants at Clapham, not the Giants, when we played Where the, Giants um, the Demons, I think it was over 100 to zero. So um, we are holding ourselves together. We are performing amazingly and I'm very proud of my fellow Giants. Must be coming close to the um, nice, half line. You just don't need to hold the microphone like that. <laughs> Leave it alone. Pretend it's not there. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and... Loose footy in the centre. Demons come away with it. Can they finally break past the brick wall that is the Giants defend? The ball goes over the top. Here's Ginge. Speak of the devil. Goes for a great mark. Can't quite come away with it. And yes, Dana. Dana! Dana makes the rebound, kicks it into space. There are a few players running on there, most of them in blue and red. And oh. the ball is in a real danger spot here. And that, in fairness to the Demons, was a ripper of a mark. That was, um, Don't yeah. Give away 50 there, Giants. Let's show a, a good. Bit of, um, cheers, man. Sorry. Um, a good <laughs> kick from 95, my fellow um, Blackheath um, rugby. Um, teammate, so yeah, it was a good kick by a demon player. There you go. But I think Giants can defend this, and they do. Brilliant defense. Um, looks like did they? They got one point, so that's a bit behind. Okay. So we're gonna have a a kick out now. Looks like Dana's gonna take that. I think it's Steve. Looks like Steve's gonna take that. Um, Steve's um, just been selected for um, Team GB, her first debut. So, um, unreal work by Steve, and she does a brilliant kick out. She's joined um, by five other giants on that on that list, Mass, which is pretty impressive work. Six of these, six of these girls, there's about a third of the team um, going out to represent GB. So that's fantastic. The ball's held up in the centre. Uh, who's that number two? That's Shani. Shani, Made she's a really back on the nice pitch. tackle and held up those demons at the centre. The Giants win yet another tap. The demons midfielders are there waiting for it and they come away with the clearance. Uh, the Giants defence is being tested again. Um, and Kate's done an incredible job there. She looks like she's got more time and space than anybody on the field. She kicked it to Philly. Unfortunately, 95, that's your mate. 95 was in the way. Yeah, 95 is having a stormer for the Ds. The Demons bash it on the boot only as far as Chloe. That's new Chloe, not old Chloe. Old Chloe's sitting right next to us with her <laughs> sign and her chair recovering from... Um... From hip surgery. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Recovering from um, from hip surgery there, and that'll be half time. At half Peckham's time, and it is two one to the demons. Cool score. Uh, we're going to pause for a second, um, and we'll be back.
And we're back for the second half of the first round of the AFL London. We are um, obviously D's Giants. The score is currently zero goals from the both the home and away, but one behind for the Giants and two for the D's. It is so close and we cannot believe it. It's very exciting first round. The D's did really well there to take that clearance out of the middle. They've come out firing after the, the halftime break with their fresh legs. Only got as far as the Seags boundary. And uh, we're going to have a stoppage. Oh, no, we're going to have a free kick. I missed that. Oh, there you go. All right, oh, there we're we going to have a throw, a throw paid to the Giants. A free Shiny. kick goes down the Seags wing as far as the contest. There's a bit of a scrabble. Looks like the Demons are going to come away with it. Uh, a bit of a boot off the ground into space, straight to Saskia, who unfortunately turns it over, but she did all the right things. The Demons play on there from the free Come kick. on, Chloe, chase it down. Great work there. Dee's kicked it out of their own 50. Good spoil, Dee. Her out! <laughs> bit of a... Oh. What a shame. The Giants' defence have done so well so far. There was some really good contested work happening there um, and got really unlucky to give away a mark from what looked like barely the required 15. The angle needs to come a long way around to the right there, in honesty. There we go. No, further, further around. That's it. Jose yeah. behind us getting very vocal about where number 101 needs to be. They just scored a goal. Um, they did. That's the first goal of the game. They've come out firing after half time. Um, so the Giants need a lift here to match that intensity because there's dangerous signs early in the mm. second half. You know, half time's a good time to get some rest, but the Giants got some wine gums, they got some water, and they're ready to rumble. Who brought the wine gums, Chloe? Well, that was me, yours truly, straight from Sainsbury's. The scoreboard's been a little bit slow, but that's fine. <laughs> We don't need that. We don't need people to know. And there's a ball up in the centre. Susie comes away, tries to get the clearance, tries to fight through a couple of tacklers, can't quite do it, gathers her own crumbs, tries to put it on the boot. Still can't quite make any sort of distance. And there's a fierce contest over the footy. The Demons have jumped straight into the back of a Giants player. Not paid though, Boom is going to call that a ball up. Gemma's another debut taking over from Ruck here in that second half as Hippo's off to go party yes, with her grandma. Um, Heiner. Heiner puts it on the boot straight down to Meg. Gets past her and uh, none of the Giants forwards are able to capitalise. Brooksy takes an intercept possession though and it looks like we're going to get another ball up. Getting another ball up but we have really bounced back from that goal. We're giving them no mercy, no break. We are going straight in for a Giants, Giants goal here. That's from Massey, yours truly. Massey's not playing because she's got a fat bunch of stitches in her head. Not from AFL though. Okay, that's your term, she's here. Yeah, um, I got told one thing from Coach Joe. If you play rugby, do not get injured or he'll be fuming. I'm lucky and I ended up missing the first game, but right, we'll bounce back. Yeah, out of the centre. Puts the ball on the boot. It's a lovely forward 50 entry for the Giants, but it's gobbled up by number 88 for the Demons. Um, I mean, this midfield is very time. strong from both sides. No, they are. They are. That when we get it into the forward, it's just kind of easily getting picked up by the Ds, but there's so many opportunities. Just need to capitalise on it, get into some space, get everyone moving, chasing that ball. So we've had high contact paid there to what I, th I think that's Brooksy. Um, yeah, Brooksy's on the kick. Pretty far away. She's taken a very brave option into the centre to Saskia, who goes up in a one-on-one, -on -one, has the contest, gathers her own crumbs, tries to break through the tackle. You've yeah. got to be careful there. She gets hands away. She got hands away. That was a handball. Um, very, ball. very quick on the whistle there from the, the other umpire, the non-boomer umpire. Uh, but they've paid, they've paid that holding the ball and the Demons have taken a mark at their half forward line. As the, and they've paid 50 for dissent. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't say it. Yeah, I did not get Short that 50. there. <laughs> about, they've paid about 10 there. 
Um, but maybe it was only a little bit of dissent. <laughs> a fifth. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh, Suze goes up. Yes, Can't Suze. quite take it down. Gathers the ball anyway. Here's Georgie. In the who... park. In the park. No, that'll be holding the ball. Yeah, she had plenty of prior there. And unfortunately, um, the footy spilled out in that tackle. Number 42 is going to take the free kick. Georgie stands the mark. Doesn't look like 42 has got the legs on her to make the distance. So we're going to probably pop it up to the top of the uh, forward. So sorry, sorry, the top of the goal square where there's a little bit of a contest. Here's Ginge again. She's doing such good work back there today. We're just waiting here for the referee decision. Excellent the work, up. Giants. To get that stoppage there is a really, really strong effort. Kate in for the ruck. And she dominates straight to Heiner. She's going to... She's got a busted lip. Okay, Heiner's got a busted lip. <laughs> that is straight from uh, Massey. Massey on the backseat commentary. I yeah. love it. Massey's getting all the goss. She is the inside T. Right, the Demons win a free kick. Again, it's the same spot as the last one. Um, it's unlikely that they're going to take the shot from here. So they're going to pop it up to the top of the goal square. Not quite the top of the goal square. Quack's there. It bounces away from her. She runs on and forces it professionally mm. over the boundary line for another stoppage inside the Demons forward 50. Yeah. It's danger signs here early in the second half, Chloe. Danger signs. But do you know what we saw there? We saw Brooksy, a uh, seasoned player who knew the rules so well and wasn't giving in to Demons trying to get more yards. Um, didn't let them have that kick easy. Susie kicks yes, it Susie. out of the contest yes, straight yes. to Brooksy. A little bit of a scrapple. Brooks is not going to let her get away. That is a strong tackle and she's wrapped her up. That that ball would have been going straight back down to that goal mm. square had it not been for Brooksy making that saving tackle. Really, really strong work from the Giants in the midfield and the defenders all working together here to stimmy the momentum of the Demons who, who wobble straight it forward to only as far as Susie who is putting the team on her shoulders, leading from the front. And has delivered the ball beautifully off to Nuclo. Yeah, that was Nuclo on the wing, that I believe. It's gone out the boundary. It's going to be a uh, ball up. Kate again, rucking. Was it CJ? Oh, that was CJ. Straight to go. Heiner. CJ. Sorry, CJ. She's getting straight back up. This is going to be tough, okay? It's going to be um, that pattern of, you know, a couple ball ups. People are really physical now. I think everyone's warmed up after this chilly wind. But the game's moving. Yeah, there's a Straight lot of congestion Ginge. in that defensive 50. Here's Jin. Somehow finds some space, pops it on the boot into a dangerous spot. But we've got a couple of Giants players Again there, including Brooksy, who puts her head over the footy bravely and fight to try and come away with it. There's another stoppage there. Plenty of stoppages in this congested defensive 50, but it's better than conceding a bloody oh, another goal. Oh, 100%. We are fighting. That's straight to Saskia. Saskia. What a kick out. Someone tackle her. It was it. And straight out of the boundary again. That's deliberate. <laughs> There's, there was genuinely no one there. You can't say that was a shot on goal. Um, got a funny story by Massey. One of my first games. I was by the rules of if and don't kick it out. And I realised that you can't just kick it out. Oh, Saskia's got the ball. Oh, yeah, she's got a heavy a tackle. Shame. Unlucky, she was going for the space. Um, will that be a free kick? Yeah, it's a free kick to the Demons. But it's a pretty, pretty difficult angle. Um, so we will find out if she can deliver. I don't think she can. Oh, and straight out. Unlucky to the Demons. Giants will have the kick out. Deliberate? Suze is taking the kick out. Um, yep, yeah, she's our captain for the the Giants. Um, also, vice captain being given vice captaincy for GB. So um, she is a seasoned player, fantastic player for the Giants, and leads the team to performances like this today. Oh, and we've got a bit of a scramble. Still got a demon's ball. Saskia gets a ball. Oh, we've been the whistle has been blown. Saskia is having a fucking ripper. I'll be real. She's doing such such good work. So is Ginge in that back line. She's really standing up tall today. Um, 
the fact that the Demons have been attacking so hard this quarter and haven't come away with, uh, with a massive score is a real testament to the defensive effort from the Giants who force another stoppage and are working hard to try and get that footy out of defence and hopefully can mount a counter-attack in the next, uh, next couple of moments of play. Gemma in for the ruck and Heiner in for the tackle. Huge tackle from Heiner. The Demons go backwards to go forwards, put the ball up and under, and they're just spraying to the right-hand side of the goals. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the breeze is a factor, maybe lack of skill. It's really hard to know. <laughs> I mean, I'm trembling over here, so I do think the breeze has a, a part to play, but at the end of the day, Ds are not delivering. They talk, talk a lot of chat. <laughs> they're not delivering the Giants though pulling no, through I don't think that's quite fair they have, been, they, have been, they have been genuinely very good and I think the Giants are coming up to their level yes um, maybe there's that's no it point, there's no point in underestimating this footy club they're, they're strong they recruit very well they've got some tactics that are um, that are working well for them in recruitment. And they've, got, they've got five outstanding teams. And the fact that the Giants are going with them today is a real testament to the quality of this um, smaller, not quite at full strength footy club. So well done to the Giants who are standing really, really strong in defence as they force another stoppage. No, they've come away with a clearance. Yes, Giants, here we go. Straight down the gut. Oh, That's the type of yes, footy that we Meg. want to see. Here comes Maz. Can't quite gather the footy. Saskia once again. Dives on it. Has a Demons player in her back. It's not paid. It is paid. There we go. It's paid in the back. Love that. And here's Chipper. Do you want to commentate? Oh, sure. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, listening from the Rye. Well, from or wherever you are around the world. Great day for footy today here in London. How much have you seen, Chipper? Um, I have only just arrived, but I was watching the game on the train on the way here, so I have seen a fair bit. Um, yeah. Sorry, mate. I, I was trying to listen to you, but I was just listening to the umpire who was paid deliberate, um, deliberate against Saskia. So it, it's, good that, it's good that that rule is being paid. Unfortunately, there's been a few uh, missed prior to this. But the game so far has been characterised by really, really strong contested effort from the Giants against a torrent of attacking footy from um, from the Demons. So we're standing up well. Yeah, they seem to be holding their own, the girls, um, for sure. I was watching a little bit of it on the train on the way here. And um, yeah, they're definitely taking it to this um, premiership favourite side, that's for sure. We've got a stoppage here on the commentary side wing. The Giants have been really strong in the ruck and that was no different as Susie gathered Tried to put it on the boot. It was smothered by a Demons player who's come away with it. They're looking to fight hard to get a clearance, but the Giants aren't letting it happen as we make an attack down the guts into forward 50. Here comes Maz. And Philly. Philly, the goal sneak, famously makes the most of these opportunities, but can't quite get to the loose footy as the Demons uh, exit. We've got the numbers here. We'll just see if we can get clean possession. Someone's got to pick it up, gives it off to Suze, just kicks in there. That's not going to be 15, so the umpire's called play on. Wandsworth just seemed to get the clearance here, but it's going to be coming back through Kate. Kate's got some time. She makes a handball, could maybe have kicked, went into the congestion rather than out of it, but she's been absolutely outstanding today. Here's another stoppage. Uh, oh, no, we've got a free kick, I believe. Didn't see what it was for, but I'll take it. I'll absolutely take oh, no. it. In the back, Boomer's possibly. Just, Boomer's just put his arm out like it was a free kick. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, it is a free kick. Yeah, it is kick. a free yes, kick. Yeah, yeah I think right. it might have been in the back. Yeah, excellent. Brooksy's taking it. She sends it out wide. I think we're going to have 50. a ball up. No one's quite home. I'll be honest. Uh, had the Demons done that, I would have been calling for deliberate. Well, I mean, considering it was given deliberate right in front of us here about two minutes ago, <laughs> it's not a bad shout. We know these umpires, uh, they'll, you can't do it this year. You'll get caught out, that's no, for sure. Absolutely. They're going to be hot on that. Here Demons. comes Susie put it on the boot, but the Demons came away with it only as far as Ginge, who has just been a monster today. The ball sails back inside the Giants forward 50 to a contest, comes straight back out. And here's a one-on-one -on -one with Ginge. Two-on-one, -on -one, in fact. She comes away second best, and the Demons make another... Oh, great attack. spoil. Excellent spoil there, Kate. Just looks to get it on the boot, gets the handball away to Susie. Susie just boots long in hope, really. Manages to find 
just a big pack of players. That would be hanging on in my books, but it's not. Ball's just going to be, and this will be a ball oh, up about 60 like, metres out. Looks like Meg's caught some contact to the scone there. I hope she's all right. She's bit, she looks bit, like she'll soldier on. Yeah, you don't want to fuck around with concussions, but she looks she looks like she's good to keep going. Um, that bow, I reckon, is going to get her a couple of votes today from the umpires. It's uh, it's a good technique to, to make yourself stand out and try and get some brown low votes early on in the season. And Meg's actually had a ripper of a game, so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe a vote or two goes her way. And As there we it is. finish up the third quarter here at the Peckham Rye. Just one point in it. Uh, uh, yeah. No, not quite. That'll be seven points seven there. Seven points in it. Sorry. <laughs> And we'll be back with the fourth quarter. <laughs> Um, 
And okay. Welcome. Oh, yep. No, here you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're in the final. <laughs> I just like wanted to chat for a bit. <laughs> um, we're into the final quarter. The scores stand as one goal to D's and a behind and one by behind the Giants. All we need is a, well, ideally a couple goals, but we definitely got a goal in us. I really believe in us here. Um, just before the game starts, I would like to retract a couple of statements from the last quarter. Um, te- the environment is tense here. It's so close. Everyone's feeling it. And um, I took it out on the Demons. If you've got any Demons fans out there, they're nice people. It's just line fever, you know. Um, All gets wrapped up but here. here we are. But we're going into the out. final quarter strong. Yeah. Um, I think, like, we're still right in this. I mean, it's only seven points, so... Uh, anything can happen. Goals can come out of nowhere. So, um, and I think we got the right end for it. I think we've got the win this quarter, I believe. Yes. So, um, yes, it'll be interesting as we get done pinned, holding the ball there, and free kick gets awarded to the Demons. Okay, Matty, back on the mic. Um, we've had a few changes. They've put Heiner in the forward line um, because she's going to score goals. June just coming to the midfield. Um, so. I've told Heino she is scoring goals this 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 game this this game yeah but this quarter. Um, ball is into the Giants' 50. Massive kick by Saskia. Oh, what a kick! What a kick. Tuddy's got the ball. Tuddy's oh, ball's just come out, but it's going to be a ball up. So um, not too far out from, from the, the side goal here. Uh, just need a quick win the hit out here, straight tap down and get it on the boot. That's my <laughs> that's what I reckon. <laughs> See what happens as we come around here. Just held up again, manages to knock it out. Ball just scrapping around there on the deck. And I reckon we're going to have another ball up here. Uh, just out from the Giants' goal. So they're doing well here, the girls. If they can manage to just lock it in uh, into their forward half here, then a goal is, is bound to come. And they are in desperate need for one. So ball ups up. And I think it's another ball up. Lots We've of ball had... ups happening at the moment. Yeah, it's been a game full of ball ups, but the Giants, um, we love a ball up. We love the chaos. We love the, the tackles. Um, so, yeah, it plays to our strength. Tuddy going for this uh, rock. I think we've won it. Yes, Giants have the ball into the 50. Is anyone there? Oh, it's scrappy. Nuclear's got the ball. Again, a bit more scrappy. Could be another ball up right in front of goal, though, which could be... Um, a good thing for the Giants. This Not is what sure the Giants what's need, though. They just need to take a little energy out of out of the Demons here. Keep it in their 50. Just keep chipping away. Get it close to the goal line um, as we go up again. Wandsworth with the hit out. Tip, tap to advantage. Can't Would have got a clean kick, but just managed to slip. Now gets it away. Two Demons out there looking to take the mark. The ball just hits the deck. Anyone's ball at the moment as it runs out of bounds. And we'll have a ball up about 60 metres out from the Giants' goal. Yeah, it looks like it is another ball up. Um, not sure who won that one. I think it's gone straight out. So we'll have another ball up. Ball ups for days. Lots of ball ups happening in the last couple of minutes here. Yeah, and as we said before, um, Gemma's first game and first time in a ruck. So it's a, it's a big a big job to fill. Um, and she is um, doing great. So Yeah, she's doing really well. Winning a few hit outs. Um, obviously, you know, up against the top quality Ruckman here, um, the Premiership side from last year, um, I would assume same Ruckman, may not be. Um, but yeah, no, um, big shoes to fill and she seems to be filling them fairly well. Yeah, ooh, oh, CJ's got the ball. The also another Giants debut, um, CJ um, from Brisbane, I think. Yeah, Brisbane. Um, yep, yeah, just come over. This year, um, played a bit in Oz, but it's her debut for the Giants. Oh, great smother there by Gemma, as we were just talking about her. Manages to get it out the back and just chucks it on the boot, but it's going to be stopped yeah, there by Kate as she looks. Now we just need to spread, looking for that option. Kate's going to go long, and she does. Unfortunately, it's just taken by a Demons here as they look to just reset and find a player. See something she likes in the middle. And it's stopped again by Kate. She's been solid there. Really been that rock for the Giants today back in defence. So um, top quality marks to her today. Massey's just taken a bit of a coaching role from the sideline here. So Chloe's back on the mic. Um, Sun is out in the mids. 
and it's getting very competitive. Lots of spoils, lots of marks, really exciting footy here, really physical. We're going into the, the D's uh, forward line. The pressure is on, but the Giants are swarming round. The oh. D's are getting nothing. They are going nowhere. Very lucky to not get caught hanging on there. Um, and we've just got a call for high contact here, and it will be a Demon's free kick. So I think it might just be a little bit too far out to score uh, against that wind as we have what looks like to be an injury in the middle. Um, hopefully all is well with that, that player. I think she's on her feet, which is always a good sign. So, yeah, excellent. Yeah, moves, game is moving along swiftly. Giants in desperate need for a goal here, so they really want to get to the fall of the ball and get this ball moving up quickly as it just goes torpedo. Kate's there at the fall of it, can't seem to hang on. Giants win possession. Oh, and we've got a bit of a run on at the moment. Just kicks in hope, really. Gets a bounce that's in favour of him. Pass everyone, clean bowl, if you don't mind. That was Heiner that kicked it straight back into our pocket there. Um, we have lots of uh, best and fairest uh, nominations going to be out today. Everyone's absolutely smashing it. Ginge um, just gets the handball back to Sue. Sue's manages to pick it up and kick. It's not 15. No, umpire calls play on as we kick to the middle of the ground. It's going to be... Just on the ground again, Demons. CJ's on it, and she has put it back into contest in the mid. Well, game really heating up here in the midfield. She slides in. I would guess that is correct. That is a free kick to the giant. No, well, anyway, never mind. Uh, it's going the way of the Demons. Plays on, off her mark, looks for someone down the line. Just really just barrels it, doesn't get onto it, but it's going to work. Fall to one of her players, just kicks him forward and hope. And Kate again, just being ruthless in defence oh, today. Kate is a Cannot magnet. Seem to stop her. Just goes out to CJ on the wing here. Doesn't manage to hit her target. Then CJ doesn't. Possession. Just shrugs the tackle, handballs off. Ginge bolts through, bang! Push fell straight in the back there. Free kick to the giant uh, to the demons. Just trying to take a bit of time off the clock here. The demons they're in front, um, which they can do with little time remaining. <laughs> I don't know how long she's got umpire, but anyway, now she's off her line. It's not called play on. Now they have, and she goes, bombs it in hope. Inside out torpedo. I'm going to call that deliberate, but it doesn't go out, so it won't be. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I am commentating from my chair and can't see much right now. So that's <laughs> We're going to have another ball up here. Lots of ball ups today. Um, yeah, look, still still plenty of top. Well, I actually don't know how long's left, but, um, you know, anything can happen. It is only um, Susie seven points. So. Susie picks it up, just boots it forward. Two, there's just no one home for the Giants. We're a little bit defence heavy, but Steve is charging her down. And then pushed her over. Um, <laughs> out her arsehole then. <laughs> <laughs> and the ball is right here in front of us here. And Gemma's going to go up. Be interesting to see if she wins the hit out. Yes, she does. Gemma. Excellent. Great debut. That here. is holding the ball if I've ever seen it. But it is not called. Ball's on the ground. We're going to have another ball up here just in front of us on the wing. <laughs> Gemma winning that last hit out. Going into this tap with a bit of confidence. Does she win it again? She does. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and the ball's at the side of the pitch. Hasn't been at this side of the pitch very much. Um, oh, well Sue's just like, yes, hi, has got the ball. What? Oh, she boots it away. Get into nice the bounce. giant 50. We just needed a few more people there. <laughs> Trying to coach and commentate at the same time, which I um, don't know if that's working. Uh, Ginger's got the ball. Oh, oh high I would say that's surely. Tackle. I don't know what that sign was for. Oh, I, free kick to sure Demons, controversial. Oh, I thought that was oh, a tackle was in the back. That was definitely high. That was definitely high and definitely should have been a giant free kick. I think it's umpire. Passing over to um, Chloe. 
That was poor umpiring there. I think Pete in Ireland, uh, biggest AFL fan in Kerry, would agree. Um, and But we're still winning. We're still in this uh, forward pocket. We've got um, Gemma dominating the ruck. Gemma goes up again. That was a Just, bad that ball was, up. That was a bad throw. I'm not going to take anything away from her there as she's going to get another opportunity here, I believe, if the umpire wants to call it at any time, and, they, and she doesn't. She lets it roll, and I like to see that. Uh, Demons play on to advantage now. Take the ball, just trying to bash through traffic. Oh, the ball just ends up with the Giants. Brooksy goes forward. Oh, just yes, gets it on Meg. The by Megs. No one home for the Giants. Straight to Maz, come on. Maz, unfortunately, can't make it there in time. Full of the ball, straight down. Just to push in the back there, so Demons will have a free kick. As she gets Again, told cheeky to go fucker, back behind uh... the mark. <laughs> We're in sync. We're in sync. It's official. No one said it was unbiased. Ginge picks it up. Just handballs to no one. Can't seem to find any targets at the moment. The Giants. Another ball up here on the commentary wing. Do you have any idea how much time is left? I have no idea how much time is left, but I just know that the Giants have played every minute. We have not uh, faltered once. We are at 110% energy here, and we will play till that last iron. Demons have got a free kick here about 70 metres out from their own goal. Obviously, it would, I would assume it's out of range. Um, and... Just Quok is there, just takes that one. Yes, Quok! Quite an easy mark for Quok. Just plays on immediately. And that's what you got to do. you got to take the game on at this point. Seven points down. Um, a bit of a scrap in the middle. Big day for the Giants, though. Um, they said we had, I think it was 22 available um, in prior seasons. They've struggled with like 13 available the day before, so... Gaining numbers, still not got a full bench. The Demons look like they have a full bench. Um, but, yeah, no, but massive progression signs. for the signs. Giants. Definitely good signs. A couple of people missing today as well, so looking good. Yeah, I, I did run into Hibo at the train station who um, did have to leave early. Um, We're so wishing we are Granny missing Hibo. Her out there at the moment, but um, that is the way of it. We're wishing Granny Hibbo a really happy 90th birthday. Yes, I hope it was worth it, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> if we lose Hibbo, it's your Granny's fault. <laughs> joking, joking, joking. Not really joking. <laughs> and so the score is Giants one behind to one goal three for nine points for the Demons. Um, it is getting extremely hard here for the Giants. Um, they're really going to need a goal within... They're just going to have to go end-to-end. -end. This needs to be a barrel straight up the middle. As Susie plays on, sees something she likes out on the wing. Gemma um, just couldn't take the mark. Spoils. Ball's going to be balled up. No, it gets knocked out. Roll, ball rolling out to the boundary. Giants have got the ball. Didn't manage to get a boot to it. Umpire lets it go. And Demons seem to have possession cleanly. Oh, that is holding what the ball. A it. Excellent tackle by Heiner. And we've, we'll see that a lot from her this season. Big crash and bash through the pack, as she loves to do. We've seen it at training, and now you've seen it on a Saturday. Back in possession with the Demons. So he looks to go forward one last time. So um, last last year, we played the Demons at um, Clapham Common. Remember it being a very sunny day. I think it was Pride round, actually. Uh, Massey was injured. Shock. Um, and we lost 93-0. It just brought up the stats. We didn't even get a point on the board. And 93-0. Um... So, so massive yeah. turnaround. Massive, massive. Turnaround. It's nine one. Yeah. Currently, lots um, of positives to take yeah. away from this game. Definitely. Oh, Jesus! We are gonna take. Okay. No, 
that's that's Jim. It's one of their players down. Jim's. So what we've got there is a D's player flying in, smack the side of her head. But as in the name, we are giant, and when no one's taking us down, here's a free kick. So. The Demons do have a free kick here as they look to find a target sort of in the middle of the ground What a here. spoil from Susie, playing it on the ground. way of the Demons. And we're going to have another ball up. We have had a lot of them today. And that is the and siren. that is it. Wow. Uh, that is fantastic performance from both the Giants and the Dees today. Thank you to everyone that was watching online, that was watching on the right. The final score being 9-1. A fantastic opening. Excellent effort from both teams. It was fantastic. And we're, I'm going to hand over to Mass to see us out. All right, guys. Fantastic game. 9-1. The Giants should be super proud. Um, amazing effort. Defence was on point. You know, what we'll start to the season. Um, yeah, hopefully I won't be on the commentary again because I'll be on the pitch. But you never know. Uh, you, probably will looking, be commentating again because by my, by my injury. Next week? Hopefully next week. Next but week. Um, What have you done to yourself if you want to tell everyone? Um, I got smashed in the head and I got a few stitches in my head. But um, So yeah, over and out. Um, brilliant effort by the team. So that's Massey out. Um, there we go. I'll, Bye, guys. I'll grab Heiner. Just going to go out here, a bit of bit of roaming chip action as we go out to the centre of the ground. We're going to grab a player and we're going to we're going to have an interview with them and um, and see how they sort of game today. Grab one of the players here as, as we head over to the centre of the ground. But no, um, an excellent day here in London as we've as we've already mentioned. Uh, about 10, yeah. Okay. 90. We had a couple opportunities. It was separated by... It was separated by not very much. So just first and foremost, really proud of you guys today. And that... Applause for that. We really... And it was a great way to set the tone for our kids as well. So we've just got to make sure we keep hitting the track now and we want to build from this performance. So we've set ourselves a really high bar in terms of the expectations going forward now, okay? So we just got to make sure we keep hitting the track hard, we keep showing up every week. And really, in terms of opposition, it's, it should only really get easier here and things should flow a little bit. So it was a really, really great game. Shout outs to the debutantes. I thought you all did a heck of a job. Well done. Um, in particular, I thought Kate was just a monster down there. Really, um, and, and Gemma was thrown into a ruck from out of nowhere. and so. But I, overall, I'm really, really proud of everyone. And, and I think today it was just a bunch of efforts across the whole team that really said it all. So I think walk off with pride. Really, really amazing start to the season. Can't ask for anything else, all right? Amazing job to the pyro. Great to hear those words from Coach Joe. Um, we will grab one of the players here. Um, so we'll let them walk through the shield here as we'll get that on film. And then we'll quickly, as we're walking, we'll just have a chat with Kate. Kate, solid in defence today. Hey. Um, yeah, no, you done her along really well. Like, lots of contested marks there. Um, you know, like, just real strong all day um you know so what what are your thoughts on, on that um i think i've learned to be that's my main thought totally but, agree yeah totally agree uh, no excellent game today and that performance for for the rest of the year so go and enjoy a beer watch the lads game and get into it thanks mate no all right we'll see if we can grab maybe just uh where's heiner where is heiner oh where's heiner hi mum and dad oh. <laughs> <laughs> um heiner Heiner, where's Heiner? Where's Heiner? Susie, 
can we can we just get a word here? Oh yeah. All right. So how are you, Suze? All right. I am. Can I swear? You can. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm fucking buzzing. Yeah. Like, to, that is a team that we lost to 93-0 last year. Yeah. Um, so to come out here, round one, at the Rye, and only lose by eight points is like, it just shows how much we've won as a team. And the only way is up from here. Like, yep. they're going to be one of our hardest oppositions. Yeah. So um, I'm so proud of the girls. Eight debuts as well today, which is mega. And yep. um, we still managed to rattle them. So they fucking hated that game. Yeah. So, Lots of yeah. Um, debutantes out there today. How do you think um, the new girls went in their... They're the roles that you and Joel have sort of assigned to them this year. I thought Gemma was excellent in the ruck, um, you know, so um, any other thoughts on, on some players there? Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Totally agree with Gemma. She stepped up. She's never rucked before and she was amazing in there. Um, Kate, I thought, was exceptional in yep. half-back. Yep. Like, absolutely nothing was getting past her. She is a wall. Um, I thought Meg was a little terrier up front, like yep. always in and under the ball. Saskia, it's just got so much pace on her. Like, you get it out to her on the wing and she will just run and I boot is massive yeah. um, but I think all the David Thompson did amazingly well today they slotted right in and as I said we're only going to get better as we, as we learn to work together as a team more so the only way is up yeah no it was um, very positive watching you all out there so you should be very proud of that effort yeah, uh, and enjoy a beer and watch the lads I hey will. excellent yeah thanks so much no worries. <laughs> alright we'll just have another quick chat over here I think we might head over to Gemma as she uh, took the rank the reins of the ruck there, so Gemma, we'll just have a quick word. Oh. Um, you know, so, so um, you know, big shoes to fill there in, in that second half going into the ruck. Uh, from what I saw, you did win a lot of hit outs, a lot of taps. So, um, you know, what were your thoughts? Did you like it? Did you enjoy that role? Yeah, I think I did. I was so, like, nervous to play footy regardless. So doing the ruck was a bit interesting, but it was fun, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good yeah. to have a hit. So, yeah, yeah, excellent. And um, so what what sort of position? I wasn't here for the first half. What were you, What was your role in the first half? I was defence. So I was yeah. trying to keep the ball away. So a bit of rough and tough, you know. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Made yeah. my first tackle. That felt good, yeah. yeah. Bit, of, bit, of claret, bit of claret. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Got a bit of character out, you know, a bit of... <laughs> yeah. No, we, we love to see it. No, you've done an excellent job. And like we just spoke with Suze, uh, it's a super extreme effort what he's uh, managed to pull off today. Only only getting done by nine, uh, eight points or, or something like that. So so it's a great effort. So excellent work. Go grab a beer Cheers. and we'll, we'll see you after. Oh. Yeah. All right. One more. And we'll just have a quick word here with, with Meg. Oh, hello. Um, How are we so, Yeah, I'm not too bad. Um, so we just got word off Suze that you were a little terrier out there. How would you how would you respond to, to um, that being called that? What about how about we get a shirt with the the little terrier on the back? I of, think so. I think the fact that I was told to f off multiple times. Are you kidding me? Um, bugger off! I think really summed up being a terrier, being kicked in the head and a little push and shove here and there. Very so, very physical game um, from a um, uh, from a like a. What are they called? People who watch the uh, spectators' point of view. <laughs> spectators' point of view. Um, but I, I can't. I can imagine that it was. It was like that uh, out in the field as well. Oh yeah, very physical. Everyone will probably be black and blue at the end of it. But yeah. I think we gave it a pretty red hot crack, and they are going to walk off. They won, but I want to be impressed with the win. Yeah, excellent. Um, all right. Well, there's one other person I just want to ha go have a chat to before we sign off, and that is Heiner. Has anyone seen Heiner? Um, so we'll just we'll just roam over this way. Where's Heiner? Has anybody? Oh, there she is. She's over there. Where? Over here. Turn oh. to Chloe. All right. We're just going to have a quick word to Heiner here. Heiner. Hello. How are you? Um. Yeah. Sore, but I'm very happy with the outcome. Yes. Um. No. Like, it was a great result, and um, laying some big tackles. Yes. Today. Yeah. 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 Got uh, all that tackling training over the past couple of weeks came in handy. Yeah. The there was one tackle there in the last quarter that even I felt <laughs> from the boundary line. So I, I can't imagine, you know, what the other player was feeling when they got hit. So. Yeah. I think I got congratulated for that one by the player that got hit after that. So yeah. 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 Very yeah. <laughs> uh, excellent. No, you played a great game. Looks like you got a little, little yeah. bit of a knock on the lip there. More wounds, but it's all part of yep. the fun. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. No, you played an excellent game, like we said, and it's an excellent result for the Giants. Absolutely. Um, moving forward, um, do you think? Like obviously, there's always room for improvement, and obviously, you know, I think next time if we were to come up against them, 
later on in the season. I don't know if we do. Yeah. But I think we can take it right to them. You know, I think we can get closer than that. And if not win, what do you think? Yeah, it's coming. Uh, we come up a first game of the season against a team that only lost the Premiership Grand Final by a point, and we held them to what, what one goal. And it's just credit to the hard work that's gone on for pre-season, the recruiting, and all the leaders that are out there as well helping those newbies. And yeah, it's just been fantastic. Yeah, mm. excellent. Thanks very much, Hannah. Right, and um, go and enjoy a beer and, and watch the lads game. <laughs> That's uh, that's it for the women's, and um, yeah, stay tuned for the men's. I think if they're getting recorded, but nope, not today. We'll see you next week for the men's.